Hey guys, welcome to my MIT Abbeventer 2 tutorial on how to make a little weird planner thing that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work, but it's kind of fun to show your friend because you made it yourself, and if you want to make a planner for yourself, do it, if you don't like any other planner apps on the App Store. So here we go, we're going to name this project Planner YT, because we already had that planner test, that was a pain in the bum. For any of you guys just curious on how it's going with the MIT App Inventor series, if you guys still stick around for the MIT App Inventor series, thank you so much for being a sub for so long. I'm sorry I haven't been putting out the MIT videos, but it's been super fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, and make sure you leave a comment below if you want more coding tutorials, because I'm currently teaching myself Python and I'm 50% done with my class, or more like 40. But that's okay, that's close enough. So let's jump right into it. First off, we need to add three horizontal arrangements, which are under layout. Uno dose, trace, and one of those very famous vertical arrangements, trace, and then we are going to center screen one horizontally, like so, and then we need to put two buttons and a spinner into the first text box. This will be our save button, our date picker, and then our load button. Pretty cool, right? Right. Next, we need to have our reset week and our clear button. So this planner, it's a week-long planner, it's not a month-long planner, it's just for the week, so that you don't have to go through and do everything again. And then we're going to put our type plans here, so we need a label in this box, as well as a text box, wherever that thing may be. And now, we're going to center this vertically, so that it looks a little bit purtier. You know, you guys don't know what I mean. I think you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. You guys are good like that. All right. So next, we are going to put three labels into our vertical arrangement. We are going to put. Uh, where do I want to put one? Did I put in a table arrangement? I put in a table arrangement. Oopsies. Delete. Okay. We're gonna put in a vertical arrangement. Ta-da! I've never really used a table arrangement. I haven't found a need for them yet. Unless I'm like making a Simon Says game. Who wants a Simon Says game? Comment down below if you want me to make a Simon Says game. All right. User interface, label, label one, well, label two, label, label. Alright, so now we are going to name these, rename these two right here. We're going to rename this one the date. And we're going to rename this one the plans. Right? Right. It should all work out, I think. Alright. So then, text for label 3 is going to be blank. Text for label 4 is going to be blank. Oh, they disappeared. I don't know what I clicked. Oh, I clicked delete. Oopsies. Don't click delete, guys. Alright, next is this one is going to be plans. Enter that there. I'm going to bold it just so it's visible. Font bolded. Alright, text for label 1, we're going to put in type plans here, colon. Don't forget that colon, guys. Next, we're going to put reset week for that button. Button 4 is going to be clear. Text for button 1 is going to be save. Text for button 2 is going to be load. Now, I'm going to rename these just over on the side so I know that when we're doing the blocks, I know which one to code to what. So we're going to have save for that. Button 2 is going to be renamed load. Reset week, I'll rename week reset. And then button 4, oh, I like that, how it does that underscore for you. I've never noticed that before. Is clear. Okay, now we need to do our spinner. So, for our spinner... You have to put elements from a string. So I have to put in a string of text. So what a string is, it's just uh, it's just basic text. The text doesn't have anything special about it. And it can be used. And then I also have to do the selection. So elements from the string. We're going to put select date. So that's our first thing. That'll be what pops up when it's very when it's up there the first time. We're going to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and you guys know what's coming next, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, yes, you do have to put commas between them for those. I don't remember if you have to put commas between them for the selection, but I'm going to anyway, and the prompt is going to be select date. Alright, our selection is going to be 
Or actually, I could just copy and paste this, guys. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Control C. Control V. Control V. Love me. Yes, it loves me. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! And then I did forget two things we have to put in. We have to put in a tiny database to remember our plans for the whole week. And then we also need to put in a notifier. If I can remember where it's at. It's right there. Now, our notifier. I don't remember exactly what it's in there for, but I know that I had it. I'm not sure if I used it, but we're going to find out. Tiny database, nothing special to it. It just holds our data, right? Right. So let's jump over to the blocks. Who's ready for this? All right. So first off, we're going to go with when spinner after selecting. We are going to set date dot text to the spinner selection. Uh, 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 we broke it, it. We're going to set it to the spinner selection, which is right there. Very cool stuff. So what this is going to do, it's going to change our date label to whatever the person sets the spinner to. And next, when notifier one after choosing. Uh, oh, okay. So the notifier is for the clear button. I completely zoned out about that. We're just going to get this set up really quick while we're here. Notifier 1, so we're going to do an if then statement with an else if statement. You click the little blue cog for that. We're going to do if with a logic, 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 it's not logic, it's logic. With an equal box, we're going to put get choice. I have to remember where the choice thingy is. So zoned out right now. Sorry about that, guys. You know I love you and I'd be doing a great job for you guys always. Always here. You guys know that. Always be here for y'all. Get choice. Hover over that. Get choice equals text yes, then call tiny database dot clear all, and we need to set everything back to nothing. So set date dot text, set plans dot text, plan dot text. And set text box one dot text all to null wherever the text box one dot text gotta find that bad boy somewhere right there booyah there we go guys see that's the one thing just one on one conversation with you guys sometimes I wish there was like a search feature in this so we could just search for what we need instead of scrolling through that's just me maybe it'll come someday remember this is just a beta too MIT App Inventor two beta I just enjoy it more it's what I was taught on. So then we're going to do if get choice, control C, control V, equal to no, then call notifier, dismiss progress di progress dialog. That just puts the notifier away like nothing ever happened, right? Right. Good to go. So next off, we're going to do when button three is clicked, which is our reset button. Reset week. So when reset week is clicked, we're going to call the notifier. So this is what we were setting up the notifier to do. We're going to do call notifier messages. The message will be go up to text, get our text boxes. We're going to want to copy four of these. So control V, V, V. Ta da! Alright, so the very first one is going to say do you wish to clear the week title is going to be clear button text one will be yes button text two will be no Ta -da! and then once that all works out we get it we get it right so button four button four is our good old clear button right right so we're gonna pull out our clear button when clear button clicked we are going to just copy all of these over control C control V control C control V control C control V what all this clear button is for is setting our text and all that back to null so say you were typing something and then you went out of the app for something and then you forgot where you're typing you want to add something different you would just close it simple as that right right works perfectly right it does all right, so now we're going to get into our big blocks, and I'm talking big blocks. So first off is the when button. 
when, 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 when. And I know there's probably an easier way to do this than the way I'm doing it, but this is just the way that it worked for me. I did this completely by myself, no help with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an if-then block. We're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six else-if statements. So let's count them down. One, two, three, four, click, five, click, six, click. And we're also going to make, copy this little block, control C, control V, and put that over there, or over here, because we'll need that again in a little bit for our button 2, for our load button. Alright, so when button 2 click, very first off, we're going to set the date, date.text to be exact, set the date.text to spinner selection 1. So technically you could have just copied the block from over at selecting right there. Now we gotta get our if statement. So we're gonna do another copy and paste for this to be super duper easy. We're gonna control V our spinner selection again and then we're going to get an empty text box and we're gonna use this as our date. Alright? You guys following the gist of this here? I'm gonna use this as our date. Call it, so if the spinner selection is equal to Monday then we are going to call the tiny database to store tag value now let's put in our tag. This is just what it's going to tag the data as. We're going to call this as Monday. Oh, okay. So we have that tag as Monday. And now we're going to grab a join block for text. This is going to combine two things of text. So this is say you save it once, and then you want to save something different to it, like you want to add to your plans for that day. So now we're going to call it to join tiny database. And then our tag will be mun, control C, control V, right there. And then we're going to put in text box one. So all this will do is take text box one and combine it with what's already there. So text box one dot text. And that's it for Monday. And then you just repeat the process for Tuesday through Friday. Alright guys, here we go. Now we're on to our load block. So if you guys need some uh, little work on the save block, you can use whatever you want for those tags on the dates. It's all up to you how you want to save it. I did mine as twos, twos, wed, wed, there's thurs, fry, fry, sat, sat, sun, sun. Simple as that. So now let's get on to our load button. So load when dot clicked. So we can actually just go ahead and grab that if statement that we had earlier, drag it over here, and I could zoom this out a little bit, I'm just choosing not to because it gets a little bit hard to see the buttons when you zoom out, so I'm leaving it big for you guys, just sharing the love with you guys. So, we have this if then statement, we can already copy our dates over from the spinner selection because we'll need that no matter what, you will always need your dates. So you can just go ahead, copy Wednesday through Thursday over. And then we get into the whole calling data from our database to put on the labels so that we can see what we had. Alright guys, here we go with what we are going to do to get our date to come up with the info that we stored in the in the save button. So very first off, we need to get our plans.txt. So set plans.txt to, and yes, we're going to make a little template really quick for our tiny database calling. We're going to call get value. And the tag will be, for this one, will be mun, but what I'm going to do is just leave it blank since this is going to be our main template. And then value if tag not there, we're going to use none stored for this day. And that's just letting me know that there's no data for that day. And that's just kind of a basic little thing, tip your hat to, oh, okay, so there's no data there, there's nothing to worry about, right? 
So we're just going to copy and paste this all the way down. Alrighty, and now we can fill in the thingy. So all we have to do is put in our dates from earlier. We're going to have... Now, as far as I know, that is it for all the buttons that we need. It is all the buttons that we need. We're good to go. Here we got zoomed out. Now we're going to reset that to default. So you guys can see we have our spinner, we have our save, we have our load. Now let's go test it out in the emulator. Alright, here we go guys. Our app has loaded up. So now we're going to type something in. Okay, so first we need to select our date. We're going to select Monday. So you see how that changed our little plans here for Monday? It told us that we were on Monday. So it clarifies it just so you know that the app knows that you want to see Monday. Good to go. So now right here we're going to type test. Because you can't actually type on a keyboard, so I'm not going to type out actual plans. We're going to put done on that. Next we're going to click save. And now just to try something, we're going to go to Tuesday now. We're going to clear this. We're going to hit Tuesday. Because sometimes when you switch it doesn't reset the plans thing. I have it got into that yet that might be part two if you guys want it depending on how well you guys like this video it's all up to you guys so now we're going to type into this one uh twist tweet tweer that keyboard's messed up tweer twos done save so now we're going to pop over to back up to monday when it clear we're going to hit load you get test. That was what we typed in for Monday. So that means it works. Our plans didn't show up. That's just because the clear button's all weird. And then we're going to go over to Tuesday. We're going to clear that. We're going to hit load. Oh, look, Tweer 2s. Ta-da. Now we're going to reset our week. Our, notificator, our notifier pops up plans here. Do you want to clear this week? We're going to put yes. All right, so next, now we're going to go click save for Tuesday. Tuesday, it didn't let us know that there's none, no plans around because I didn't type those in. To the dates, we're going to put this here, Monday, load, it's just kind of blank because there's no info there that it's pulling, and I also forgot to put the little when value not there, go in, and tell you there's none there. So there we go. App done, we have our plans, we can save our plans for the week, and it's good to go, right? Right, if you guys want me to do a part two and expand on the app a little bit, get some more in-depth with the plans, change the plans a little bit, give you a little bit more wide range and do more with the app let me know guys and i'll do it for you guys if you guys want it hope you enjoyed have a great day if no one tells you love you today i do make sure you subscribe for more coding videos i plan on doing a lot more as i learn more code have fun have a great day bye, -bye.